What's up guys, welcome back. Chigiri from Blue Lock in Chains. So there's that scene just before he breaks his chains. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we got like head tilt, eyes kind of covered. We got a hand, loads of chains. So tricky enough drawn, right? We take our time anyway. Heads over to the right hand side, not bang in the middle, right? So center point to my page is about here. Come up over to the right and we'll start with those big eyelashes of his. We go up. And across and like his eyelash kind of sticks up at the end now a lot of this will be underneath hair so don't worry too much about it you see you want to thicken up the top eyelid line a little bit and add some eyelashes to the ends and then this curves down around up. It's got a broken line there. We'll thicken this bit up a bit. Kind of make it like a spike. And then we have an extra line that comes off the blue lock. So we have another line here. Right, and then this has eyelashes on it as well. In Chigori's version, anyway. So then, iris and pupil. So we have like a big, so it's a big white eye. So you can see like the full circle of his eye. If you have a stencil or a coin or a compass that will help you get a circular shape, feel free to use it. And then his pupil. So it's like his eyes are like glowing white. So it's kind of done like that. And then it's all purple around. Right, and then his eyebrow, tick, skirts right past the eye, frowning real hard, like that. And then they're quite thin, so you just want to add a little thin section that you can color. Like there. And then top eyelid, like so. And then we have like some wrinkles and frowning sort of lines, stuff here. So we will be drawing over some of this with hair. So his other, eye goes this way I can barely see any of it so I might just stop it here instead of like having to draw everything like so like so and then the bottom eyelid kind of just comes around here you could draw like an eye like that if you wanted it again but I mean, you can't really see any of it so Right, maybe we could see like some of those bottom eyelashes coming in here and then the iris and the pupil like so pupil in the middle like that right and then eyebrow again sort of frowning pretty heavily sort of just like it's going to tick up this way this time. But we can't really see it at all. So we'll just do a little bit. It's all covered by his hair. So I'll be erasing like a lot of that eye. So, okay. We're just getting his nostrils in, right? So his nose here. That's all you can kind of see. And then his mouth, so he's like gritting his teeth, just comes across, downturned at the edges. And then we open it up, add an extra section there, and then shadow in the corner, and then just some teeth. Bottom lip. Just like that. Right, so real pointy chin. So we go here. And then our jaw. Jaw will go this way. Up to there. 
All right, and then the jaw on this side meets hair like somewhere here, so we won't go as far. Okay, so that hair, right? So we'll go, we'll start just above this eye. So we'll go here, spike there. And then a big long line sort of hanging down. And we got some spikes on this. That, and then we go back up and then the bits that come down across his face so it goes this way and down here and kind of joins his hair on this side okay so we've got like some gaps right so we've got a gap in the hair here there Come on, like so and then the big one coming across here and then coming across the eye that way and then a big long line Come down oh yeah we kind of have a gap or something here Right, and then like textures going all this way. Right, and like if you want to make it more dramatic, you can add those hatching lines that they they add in the anime. Some under the nose, I think, as well. Okay, so we'll finish the hair. So we got like long lines of hair bumping down all this way, spiking out, back up. that there's all texture lines and like some gaps in the hair lots of these lines for the hair textures and then we can see the ear on this side so it just sticks out around to there and then the rest of the hair sort of bumps back around and it'll just go off the top of my page and then the, the hair over here goes over the back of the shoulder right so it like flows down this way and it'll go up here <clears throat> Right, so that's the hair. So then the body. So he's got like a bib on, like a vest sort of thing. So it like comes down, it's like a sleeveless top, right? So it goes, meets his knee, I think here somewhere. So stop it there. And then the other side, down and in. All chains and stuff down here, so we'll go. We just draw it all in anyway. Mm. 
Yeah, so kind of bumpy. Legs are going off there. Right, and this will have full lines and a collar. It's coming around his neck here. I think it says like Team 7. In capital letters here. Funnily enough, in English. <laughs> Japanese show, English writing. Strange. So then the Z is here. Team Z. And then we put some more full lines just on the clothing. Okay, so the knee, right, will go just like a big knee. And of course, there's all chains and stuff on this, but we'll just get the knee in, right? What can we see above? So it's hard to see underneath the chain, but I think this is his calf, like going that way. Okay, and the B. Make another section for his shorts. Just there. And make some four lines on that. And then some like, stuff going this way. Hmm. Right, so his arm. So shoulder on this side. Out like so. And then shoulder, tricep area there. And then bicep here. And then arm will go down this way. Forearm goes off that way. And then we have that blue lock. Thing here and then this comes across then we have like shoulder like that and like some full lines there and like so what else like inside of his arm that way and if you want to draw in the, the blue and purple stripes you can you know those stripes that come along their clothing like that and then the other arm and hand so his other shoulder down there and then his tricep comes down that way so this is his forearm and elbow Join his hand somewhere here. So the forearm is like there, but he's got like a hand here, right? So you got like knuckles bumping across one, two, three, four. Right? So this is the index that comes out. So you have two knuckles on your finger and you change direction. So two sections, three sections, one, two, three, on each finger. See the way they bend? One, two, three. So you curve around the top, and you go one, two, three. And then we have like a fingernail. And we'll put some skin lines and stuff just on the finger. And we do the same thing over here. So one, two, and a third. Around, one, two, and a third. And then like a knuckle line. Knuckle lines on top, like so. Next finger, one, two, three, and then around, one, two, three. Some of them are like smoother than others, the way they've drawn it. So this one's like thinner. Right, and then just knuckle lines. 
Make some fingernails. And then the bottom of his hand, you can just see it coming across underneath these fingers. And the thumb. Comes out this way. He's got like a bandage or something. Is it a bandage? Like a strap on the palm of his hand there. And then lines on his forearm, the elbow, the shoulder muscle there. Like so. And if you want, you can draw in those purple. Sections, but they're done with color, really. So it's kind of up to you if you want to do that. So, the chains, right? So, it's pretty complicated drawing chains. I, I <laughs> not gonna lie it's difficult so i'll draw them sort of like with black lines right so they'll just be sort of black interlinking lines if you want to do something more complicated you can it's, it's an easy image to find but we'll keep it simple here we'll, we'll try our best to anyway because chains are like tricky things to draw so the box for the chains, right? So it's like carved around here. Like so. And then we have the key section. Like that, and you wanna color that black. And then we have this top. and then all those chains right so no easy way of doing it so you'll have like an interlinking section you'll have like one link that's sideways and then the next one will come out from behind it like that and then we'll keep going You just like this, and you just do them wherever you can, and they're like attached to the like wrap around his leg and all this kind of stuff. So, okay. But there is more chains than that, but I think that's enough for this drawing anyway. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.